All right, going to show you from the Word of God that reading Scripture is commanded and is mandatory. Contrary to the Catholic false doctrine that, oh, you can't read the Bible, you have to just rely on the priest's interpretation, put your blind faith, like, a, like any kind of cult, cult member would, in the Roman Catholic priest. We're going to show you that the Bible teaches otherwise. The so Scripture teaches that we're supposed to read and meditate on God's Word day and night. So we're going to show you that. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Turn there in the King James Bibles. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Meditate day and night, not meditate on the words of the priests or the, the church fathers, which the Catholic Church obviously didn't exist as an institution back then, but the mentality of Roman Catholicism goes back all the way back to the Tower of Babylon. You see, that the spirit behind Roman Catholicism goes all the way back to Babylon and the Tower of Babel, but as an institution, it didn't exist until hundreds of years later, until actually thousands of years later in the 4th century when Constantine merged Greco-Roman paganism in with Christianity to get this impure form of Christianity, which is just a mixture of New Testament truth and Greco-Roman heathenism. But meditate on the book of the law, God's word, day and night. Not meditate on the traditions of men day and night. Psalms 1 verse 1 to 2. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Similar to what we read in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, meditating on the law of God, his word, day and night. Not meditating on Catholic heathen, heathen traditions. Psalms 119 verse 15 to 16. I will meditate in thy precepts, and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statues. I will not forget thy word. He doesn't say, I will not forget uh, traditions of the fathers, or, you know, the, the holy papal authority. No, I will not forget thy word. Okay? And of course, Catholics will say, well, you know, of course the church didn't exist back then. So what's your point? The point is that David was meditating on scripture, not heathen traditions of men. Psalms 119, verse 23. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant did meditate in thy statutes. Continue a uh, very, very uh, consistent theme of meditating on God's word. Psalms 119, verse 48. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statutes. We see this consistent theme, meditating on the statutes, the statutes, thy word, thy law, the law of the book of the law, meditating on that. It is mandatory to read and meditate day and night on scripture, on God's law. Psalms 119 verse 78. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause, but I will meditate in thy precepts. And Psalms 119, verse 148. Mine eyes prevent the night watches, that I, I might meditate in thy word. Okay? You're supposed to meditate on God's word. It's mandatory. It's not optional, okay? But the Catholic Church contradicts God's word for, through their man-made traditions. They make the word of God of none effect through their traditions, like Jesus talks about and rebukes the Pharisees for in Matthew chapter 15, verses 1 to 9. You're supposed to meditate on the, on the precepts of God, the law of God. So, reading scripture is mandatory. And when the Catholics say, well, nobody was, could read scripture, they were all illiterate back then, then you teach them to read God's word. You don't just hide it from them and ban them from reading God's word. But you see, that's what cults always do, because the word of God brings liberty. But cults, they can't control you if you read God's word. If you have a copy of scripture, if you have God's word in your possession, they can't control you. So in order for the Catholic cult to control people, they have to take away the scriptures from them. So they can't meditate on it day and night and say, wait a second, um, Jesus was not 
uh, Mary, sorry, Mary was not a virgin. She had other children. Wait a second. Uh, in Luke chapter 11, you know, a woman tries to venerate Mary like Catholics do, but Jesus rebukes it. Wait a second. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 4 verse 6 says to not uh, think of men above that which is written. But the Catholics are against that. Wait a second. You know, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 says that scripture is sufficient for faith and practice and doctrine and reproof. But the Catholic state tradition is. You see, the scriptures contradict Catholic traditions, but when they read, when they take away the scriptures from them, they can keep them under their control. So, we're supposed to meditate on God's word day and night. It's a commandment, a continual, consistent commandment. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism, and don't be deceived by their false Bible translations too, because when they can't take away the scriptures, they have to now pervert the scriptures, which is a whole other issue. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.